Hello. There's a lot of countries in Europe. How many? I mean, I, I want to know how many. How many countries are in Europe? 44. 44 countries in Europe. Wow, that's a lot. That's almost as many states in, like, the U.S., you know? Wow, what an incredible analysis by me, the American. Um, 44 countries. I wonder how many I could name. I'm not going to try. But anyway, I want to know which ones are the best. The best of the best. 10 best countries to live in Europe, visit, and work. That's fascinating to me. Because I don't know nearly enough about the, all the different countries in Europe. All right, let's just let, let's watch. Europe is the Europe. most popular destination for expatriates. Thy diverse culture and history. What is an expatriate? I I mean I've heard people say expat. Is that someone from the United States or is it just someone f leaving any country? Europe is the most popular destination. Lively okay, cities, cool. beautiful countryside, great traditional and cut. Why did it turn into crap quality? Hold up. Okay. Cutting edge food and ancestral links continue to attract people of all ages to travel, study, work, and live in Europe. How cool would it be to live there? Living in Europe has its pros and cons when it comes to healthcare expenses, taxes, and job opportunities. But luckily, there are as many as 44 different countries in the old continent. You can choose from depending on your budget, career goals, and language skills. Here are the 10 best countries to live and mm -hmm. work in Europe. Okay. 10. Belgium. The Kingdom of Belgium, Belgium is one of the founding members of the EU and home to its principal institutions, but also a center of various international organizations. This country may be tiny, but it is incredibly diverse and- oh, This is stunning though. These two trains are about to crash, oh no. The beautiful, it is a multilingual country with rolling countryside speaking French, German, and English. Schools in each region will speak the local language and education is compulsory through age 18. The public education system is highly regarded, and there are quite a few options for a family just moving to the country. Parents are entitled to 17 weeks of leave for the birth of a child, with 11 days of paternal leave as fully paid and the rest wow. at a partial salary. Pretty nice. Nine, Spain. Spain. Spain is the best place to live. Why would I? I, I okay. Spain. And retire in. I just haven't thought. I don't know why I haven't thought much about Spain. Europe, with the country's incredible climate, leisurely work environment. What is that building? And top-notch healthcare system. Spain's constitution states that the country has to offer emergency and basic care free of charge for everybody. <laughs> in terms of the cost of living. Even if I just went there, like if I just moved there, I mean, I'm sure it's a process, like a difficult process to move to there and get accepted and everything. But if I did, I would instantly get free medical care. Spain is one of the more affordable awesome. places to move to in Europe. Income and housing prices are stable, meaning living costs are not sky high. Why are all these cars the same? Like they look like taxis. Why are there so many taxis? Compared to the average income. Whoa. Living well in Spain is possible with an average annual salary of $25,000. That's all you need to live well? But you need to be aware of the high unemployment rate. Some of okay. our friends are still jobless after months of searching, despite having university qualifications and plenty of work experience. Eight. That sucks, but th so that's why people retire there, because you don't need a job. Wow. France. France is France. mostly known for its capital and main cultural and commercial center, Paris as well yeah. as its Mediterranean coastline. Everybody wants to visit France. This country is a great place to raise your family. It has plenty of opportunities for kids to have adventures. <laughs> National museums are free for anyone under the age of 18. The average cost of living in France is quite high and de Damn. depends on a few di Look at that. different factors such as where you live in the country. Therefore, if you plan on moving to France, Consider smaller towns in the south. 
which display beautiful architecture, stunning lavender fields, and a low cost of living here. That's cool. That's where I'd prefer to live. Seven, Denmark. Mm. Denmark is one of the happiest countries in the world. Oh. There is a balance between work and family life. Hi Look at this. This bridge is crazy. How much did this cost? Come on, how much? Education standards and a thriving business climate. Schooling experiences are focused less on testing and more on raising a socially connected whole child. Mm. Unemployment is low and there is little in the way of- Well, no wonder they're happy if they're like focused more on social education like in school. That's pretty smart. Social economic divide. Child care is heavily subsidized by the government. That's nice. Oh my God, child care is crazy here in the US. Do you know how much I pay <laughs> to, to have a kid in a, a daycare for a little baby at daycare like two, three times a week? Oh my gosh. Nearly $1,000 a month. Working hours tend to be shorter than most countries. Most companies have a flat working structure and are pretty informal and laid back. Six, and Finland. the bridges are awesome. If you have opted for life in Finland, an exceptional Finland. Really high living standard awaits you. Wow. Finland is an excellent place for your children to attend school. Finland's education system is highly regarded worldwide and open to expat children. Living in Finland, children have more time to play. The Finnish education system believes that life in Finland for children should be playful and relaxed. That's nice. There is no need to stress. It should be. I mean, for, gosh, you're only a kid once. I'm out at such a young age. That's the one time in your life you don't you get to actually have fun and not be stressed ever. Hopefully. People highly regard anyone working as a teacher, including the country itself. So it's not like America. Who ensures teachers get top notch training and excellent pay. Wow, Without imagine accommodation, that. <laughs> you can easily buy a house in Finland. Most Finns own their homes and there are no restrictions on foreigners buying property. Nice. I mean, that's a big deal, especially today, if housing is affordable. Five, Sweden. Sweden is known as one of the safest countries in the world. It has high quality of life. Look at plentiful it. Plentiful jobs with high salaries. And that children you just had, you need not worry about paying for their education. Education is completely free in public school. Everyday expenses fluctuate depending on where you live. These, like, uh, these uh, Sweden, Denmark, these countries right here in this area, it's not even fair how beautiful they are. Live, but overall, the average cost of living in Sweden is high. Public transportation in Sweden oh, is cool. so efficient that many people may not feel the need to drive in Sweden. However, there's literally like no cars, cars on the road. However, That's crazy. Depending on your job, driving may make your life a bit easier and give you more flexibility to move about as you please. Hmm. Four, Portugal. Portugal. Portugal is situated on the Iberian Peninsula. I'm gonna be honest. I like kind of forget about Portugal a lot because it's like in a, this. You've got Spain. I think of that whole thing as Spain, but Portugal's sizable. It's right over Peninsula. there. Known for its mild climate, blue skies, and long yeah, beaches. It's, it's pretty. People here are very friendly. Visitors will find a culture that is warm and welcoming upon arriving in Portugal. Wow, well, then I'm sorry for forgetting about you guys sometimes. Moreover, Portugal is among the cheapest countries in Western Europe. The cost of living is low. Rent and grocery prices are much lower than in many other parts of the world, mm. ensuring that you can enjoy a high standard of living oh, for not cool a whole lot of money. Portugal also offers free education to its residents for the mandatory school levels. Three, Republic of Ireland. Ireland mm. is known for its love of food and drink, picturesque countryside and bustling cities. The average wow. cost of living in Ireland is not cheap, but it is also not as expensive. <laughs> it is not cheap, but it is also not as expensive. Because Ireland is a small island nation, many goods need to be imported into the country. Mm. This ups the price of everyday necessities that such as sense. groceries and gas. Public education in Look Ireland at, is free and of very high quality. 
Ireland is also a pretty safe place. Rates of gun violence are nearly non-existent, mm. and rates of violent crime overall are low here. Two. I mean, I was going to say it, it doesn't really matter if it's gun crime or any other. Well, I mean, it does matter because gu gun crime is very deadly. I'm just saying I want all violent crime to be low. <laughs> Switzerland. S Switzerland is one. Do you guys hear the video? Just like of the safe. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I got to like restart it or something. OK, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it sounds like that to you guys, but I can deal with it. I really hope it sounds normal to you guys. It sounds like to me but the swiss take pride in the best oh, health care in the world and magnificent natural beauties the cities are clean Holy and regulated crap. and people earn well so the high cost of living is adequately compensated the average that makes sense i mean that's typically how it kind of goes like anywhere you go with a high cost of living probably has high salaries or else people wouldn't be able to be able to afford the high cost of living. Average annual salary for expats in Switzerland is two hundred thousand dollars. The education system Dang. here is among the best all over the world. The state school is free for all children, and there are also numerous options for private and international schools. Switzerland has a universal health care system, and insurance providers are nonprofit, ensuring their policies are affordable. Nonprofit. Wow. Probably how it should be, huh? For a healthcare insurance provider. <laughs> America, take notes. One, Norway. Norway boasts wow. the highest concentration of fjords in the world, along with masses of forests. So if you love the outdoors, it is a great place to be. I'd love it if it looked like this. Indiana does not look like this. And I still love the outdoors. But man, look at this. Norwegians has a high life expectancy an excellent healthcare system, and a quality education. Norway is also one of the safest countries in the world, with low crime Beautiful. rates even in major cities. That's the impressive. The country has other job opportunities too, particularly in IT, telecoms, engineering, and transport. There's stiff competition because of Norway's outstanding education system, which produces highly skilled workers. Hmm. Oh my gosh, just look at this, the beauty of this. Even behind all this stuff on the screen. Amazing. That was a cool video. Go check out Around the World, link down below, you know? Because that, that was a nice video. A lot of really great options. <coughs> Some of these places, just the natural beauty in Europe to be found is amazing. And the cool thing about Europe is there's so much variety too from different cultures, languages, um, everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I hope you guys are doing good. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. And I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, you know. Who cares what I hope, you know. Let's just focus on what I do. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to be motivational or something. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs> and goodbye.